Welcome to the third part of the Let's Build series in which I built a medieval house and explain a lot more than I usually do in my tutorials. So this is more like uh, a philosophy build than uh, a strict tutorial where you can do step by step. So in this part I'm going to build the walls and uh, tell you a little bit about, about the randomization and stuff I put into the walls. So yeah, let's start. So I'm gonna build the walls and I'm gonna mix in some um, some bit of variations. So uh, as you can see the randomization, which I'm always preaching in my videos. And I'm not going to do it in the fourth part, which is basically the uh, part for uh, for the decoration, uh, even though it kind of belongs more into the part of decoration, but uh, it's, it's easier to make it um, like immediately when you're building the walls to mix in the different materials. As you can see, I'm using cobblestone for the walls as a main material and as randomization factor, it's smooth stone. And I'm always going to put in some, some nice windows. So uh, I, I prefer putting them, for example, like this in the middle between those two beams or pillows. And on these places, you might want to place one window like this in the middle. But I think it's all also nice to place a pillow in the middle and just to make a one block window over here and sim simply uh, over here because there's going to be more daylight uh, like shining into this window rather than uh, if it would be here. Um, so yeah, these are just some factors I'm calculating into the faction, fraction, whatever. And as you, are, as you are going to see, I'm not gonna use the randomization on every kind of the wall, or every part of the wall, simply because uh, in the end you might overdo it with the randomization and in the end then it's gonna be... It's gonna be bad, okay? Pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Okay. Randomization's good, but too, many, too much is bad, okay? I guess you get what I mean. So at the same time I'm gonna like experiment a little bit with the rest of the frames because I'm going to have to add some some more frames. This and down here let's add let's leave it like that. And with the randomization it's always a kind of struggle because uh, you kind of have to have a feeling for it where you can put and can't put some blocks and you have to find a balance and at the same time it shouldn't look like there is supposed to be a certain balance and that is some really messed up balancing if you know what I mean so I'm not too sure. Yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm going to keep it like that. So with these two windows kind of being asymmetrical once again from this part of the wall. So I'm just going to go with that. And on this side, since there's going to be or there is already a roof here, I'm going to make kind of... Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's make the complete wall here. And here's going to be a door and a window here. Okay, so this is so much for the first floor. Then one thing I'm gonna do is to fill in the rest of the walls up here using wool. And once again, different types of wool. So white wool for the main material and gray, light gray wool to mix it in to have once again a little bit of variation and the randomization. And I like to do on, on such extension things that I'm adding the ground or the, the bottom floor material over here as well. And I like to do that on towers as well simply to make them yeah, stick out a little bit more so that it's like visually, no, that's not good, uh, visually uh, a little bit different to the rest of the build so that you can see that it is definitely a different part of the build. So I'm not gonna do it here and there, neither here nor here, no, 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 no. Um, but I kinda wanna make it up here, whoops. Not too many materials. Don't. Yeah, you should always take care that you don't use too many materials for the randomization, or else it's gonna look a little bit more not not randomized, but just totally messed up, in my opinion. Okay, so that so much for the cobblestone and stuff. 
And now I'm just going to add, I think I want to have two different windows here since the, it, it's always kind of a, the balancing thing to so you have to take different kinds of uh, of yeah you know, factors into the account when you're building this so for example since this roof is going up slightly diagonal i'm going to make two different kinds of windows over here so one one block broad window and the other one is going to be uh, two blocks high and as you can see i'm adding the randomization right here and this way it kind of it looks a little bit weird i have to admit that but at the same time, it's kind of supporting the diagonal structure here. And that way, diagonal lines are always kind of supporting the, um, the motion or the, not the motion, the, um, the movement into, in the building itself, even though it is, of course, a static thing, which can't move on its own. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure how to explain it, but it's kind of diagonal lines always make the things look a little bit more vivid is pretty much what I think I wanted to say here. So yeah, as you can see, I'm always using the main material, the white wool, and then mixing one or two blocks. Well, let's just take a look at here. No, I didn't want to use that. So uh, I'm always trying to put in some blocks as randomization, but not too many. As I said, it's it's a kind of balancing thing. You have to find a good balance for it. And what you can also do is, because you are going to make something on the inside, the interior, that you add randomization to the inside, even though you're not going to be able to see it from the outside, as you may be able to, let me in here, that you can't really see the light gray wool block here from the outside, but from the inside you are going to be able to see it. So let's put in those stuffs over here. This kind of, the build, this part of the building is finished. Let's, whoops. And a window here, and of course a window here, otherwise this kind of pre-roof wouldn't be of any use to us. And what you also kind of want to do, or what I'm always doing, at least on one part of the build, since the white wool is the main material, um, you would think that it's best to place uh, the white wool always in every part of the build um, with uh, like the, the uh, as the dom dominant rule, um, role, but at the same time it's kind of nice to have at least one part where the light gray wool is kind of dominant, um, because it's simply going to put an emphasis on the kind of randomness, randomness, whatever, uh, of the of the build itself. But uh, if, if you really can't get used to the randomization, I think it makes a lot of things better and I think it makes the builds look more interesting. But if you just can't get it right or if you think it does not completely look right, then of course it's you should just go with whatever you think is going to look best in the end for you. So you shouldn't stick to things uh, like... Or you shouldn't. I don't want to um, endanger my own job, <laughs> but um, you shouldn't always listen to what other people tell you what looks good or what does not look good. But you should try to figure out something where you say, okay, this maybe my friend doesn't like it, but I think it's pretty amazing. And if you think it like that, if if, uh, if you're thinking like that, and this is your true opinion, then hey. And go with that. Don't do anything that endangers you or your opinion from being, or blah, messed up sentence. Uh, don't do anything that messes up the builds for you just in order to make it look better for others is pretty much what I wanted to say. So yeah. So over here I, th I have to come up with a solution for this Block. I didn't really plan that. Blah. Okay. Um, so as we continue to placing our stuff around here. Uh, okay. Oh, Ooh, there's a lot of stuff, plain spots left. Okay. So let's see what this looks like from the outside. And uh, that looks fairly good. But now for this part, kind of, what if, 
it did it like this. No, but if we did it like this, the other way around, I think this will once again be a little bit more random, but at the same time will look totally fucked up. Um, yeah, let's just do the wool thing over here as well. That was a bad idea, but yeah, we'll get over it. So just fill in the rest. No window is gonna be here, and we don't need that block here and over here. We are going to have just the same thing all over again. Okay. So as you can see, the disadvantage of the buildings I'm doing here uh, is that. On the inside, first of all, it looks kind of, or not kind of, but extremely messed up. Because you have all these kind of things here, um, like this, for example, where you don't really see the... Uh, or If I put some a block over here, then it will look kind of weird from the inside, especially if you have a floor down here and you want to go over to the other side. But at the same time, um, you have to figure out, or I'm always figuring out some way of making this look good in the end and kind of making this um, like a wanted separation from the different kind of rooms. So yeah, it's, it's just always a kind of, once again, balancing from uh, between good looking buildings and simply making them practical. And as I I say a lot of in my, uh, a lot of in my videos, my builds are, aren't really practical at all. They are just what I think is good looking and um, yeah it's not really like you have any kind of room for uh, a lot of chests in there or yeah so that is, it's not really practical for survival or anything like that is pretty much what I wanted to say okay so this chimney I think uh, I might add it a little bit more up here that it sticks out but at the same time I don't really think I should so I'm just gonna go with whoops with the chimney like this and to support it from the inside I'm just going to exchange these blocks and then I'm gonna finish up by I'm oh no 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 because what I'm trying I want to have this effect so that you have like really all the, the different sides of the iron bars spreading to all the sides. So we'll have to do something about that. And the only thing you can do for that is to make it like this so that you have a stair at the back. So I think this is pretty good. I don't think we forgot anything. Um, no, it doesn't seem like that. So all the walls have been filled in and in the next episode we're going or I am going to add decoration to the build because at the moment, at least for my eyes, it looks a little bit plain. So I'm going to change something about that in the next video and yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you didn't fi find the, uh, the way of me explaining the things today a little bit weird because I kind of had a little, only a tiny amount of sleep this night. But anyway... So, um, yeah, with that, there's nothing left to say for me, but after 1964, and as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, join the community community today, do as you will, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.